Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. So today is 5th October. Let's start with the analysis of today. This is me and my relevant working experience. If you want to join our WhatsApp as well as our Telegram group, you can join in via the links given in the description section below. Also, this is the IGP program, which is live via the scan code that is given below. And also you can register on by giving or by giving a call to our number 9127515541. This is the content of today. Review of Maritime Transport 2023, UN CITAD. Afghan Embassy announced its shutdown, swamp deer, MP realizing PM's vision of cleaner vision, and prelims facts. Let's start with the first analysis of today, a review of maritime transport said by UNC TAD. So, that is UN CITAD Bulikom, that is the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Very, very important. Okay, so take a look recently at a review of maritime transport 2023. Report of the published Kodise, which highlighted the issue of greenhouse gas emissions from international shipping and challenges in decarbonization. UN CETAD. UN CETAD ki bostukan. It is the UN, that is the United Nations main trade and development body. Our A trade and development body main aim to ki hoi? Promoting investment, promoting trade and development in developing countries. Monrakhiba. Either you can write IDT or you can write TDI or you can write DIT. Meaning investment, development, and trade. Okay. So it tinta bostuk promote kore kune UN SETA, that is UN Conference on Trade and Development. So today they have got the aim to promote all those activities, and we all know that as a part of the UN Secretariat. This reports to the UN General Assembly and also the Economic and Social Council, which is known as ESC. Our A body to membership, good Econ countries are 195 countries. Headquarters code hoy, Geneva hoy, in Switzerland. Established Katia 1964. Okay, and therefore today we have seen that Yar Karone Bohut Kita conference hoy every four years. Every four years at a conference. Okay. So therefore today, if I have to say about this UN CETAD and the maritime related facts. So I mean, the highlights of the reviewed key policy, the international shipping or emissions to so So the greenhouse gas emissions from international shipping were 20% higher in 2023 compared to a decade ago. And the shipping industry contributes to 80% of the world's trade volume and nearly 3% of the global ZHG emissions. So, as I etu kane ki hoga na etu bahi gose because of the increased amount of trade activities across all the countries. E bostu tu komi gose le ki hoga na during the time of COVID. Okay, but etu project kora gose le 2.54 ke glow kori bo in 2023. But it is expected that. Here, the growth is even higher, which is adding to the greenhouse as well as the carbon emissions, which is directly affecting the environment or the respective climate. So, as we take a look at the ships, we keep use fuel use code, the non renewable fuels. And therefore, there is no option for any alternative fuel to carry the ship industry forward. So, as we take a look at agency to a body to a concerns code, is the how we can pursue cleaner fuels and how we can directly go for various forms of decarbonization. Aru keneke ami a global shipping fleet to how we can make them extremely cleaner. So hekini uparate yate kisuman challenges or kotha koya guise. The keneke through the changing world where we can make this very further enough so that we can make this industry very much liable and contributed towards the cleaner gases or cleaner fuel. So, Ami recently celebrated Korisilu September 28th or key, the World Maritime Day. Okay, so Ebaro Zitu World Maritime Day theme as a headmook to Malaga comment section or Okay, so key hoi theme to. Okay, our tar logot eta postu ba eta uh, agreement jorito hoi as a uh, which is basically known as M A R P O L. So, a MARPOL key boost to hoi, tumalke muk comment section at kwa. 
it is related even with the theme and also m a r p o l is basically a convention also so it ki hoy tumaloke muk comment section ot kwa so yate mainly jitu amar cleaner fuel ba aji amar jitu transition he transition tu kotha koise je how we can uh, very much transit from uh, using a uh, conventional sources of energy which is basically this non renewable fuels to some of the uh, like clean up fuels so he kini kotha ke aji yat discuss kara goise and therefore it's a, a review of maritime transport a report published by un setat which is also an agency towards the un secretary okay so he kini kotha ke yare discuss kara goise tumalok mo gutte bostu kini ate humoy di thoi disu you can see it okay question dia asa ta next the afghan embassy announced its shutdown in india afghan embassy so jeti amoy embassy buli ko embassy is what it is defined as the main representation of a country within the borders of another country embassy e embassy logot aro eta word ahe consulate consulate mane ki hoy a consulate can be understood as the sub part of embassy embassy is sub part mane jodi moy ko eta supposedly if i say about that embassy greater office and if i say about the consulate it is basically a sub office of the embassy ya bhitorote aro ta bostu jorito hoy thake which is known as high commission e bilak difference ahe kisu man important hoy high commission so what is high commission so this high commission is basically the countries who once ruled or who has once been ruled by the britishers that high commission thake it is supposedly the commonwealth countries they are referred to as the high commission okay and the main representative office of a commonwealth country situated in the capital city of another commonwealth country so ami jodi ami uk er kotha kon uk er amar consulate ba uk er amar embassy nai us of embassy ase but uk ki ase amar high commission ase okay so it is typically situated in the commonwealth country so to bostu mon rakhi okay so when we referred it as embassy it is defined as the main representation of a country within the borders of another country and when i refer it as consulate it can be understood as a sub part of the embassy okay our ekhon country bitorot bahut keta consulates ho pare several consulates but embassy etai ho pare that is some of the crucial difference between an embassy and a consulate okay mon rakhi babila bostu bahut important hoy so yate amar ki hoy amban embassy tu bondho kora asle kor asle delhi ase so delhi tu bondho koribo jo goise so on september 13 a statement carrying the seal of ministry of foreign affairs of the islamic republic of afghanistan announced the closure of embassy of afghanistan in delhi ki ho karane because there is no democratic government aru aji amar afghanistan government logot jitu talibani government tar logot kono relation nai okay so in its official communication the embassy of afghanistan blame multiple factors including lack of cooperation from the government of india and a lack of resources to operate any further okay so it has also asked new delhi to hand over the mission to a legitimate government of afghanistan sometimes in the future okay to it is illegitimate government as uh, toppling up the respective uh, ashraf ghani government dekhe tokol ahi sile kalibani so hetu karane aji amar relations to bear dekhe tokolor logot so therefore this uh, embassy is basically closed okay so aji yate ami dekhisu je amar bilateral relations afghanistan logot bahut basic e asile tar upor we can see that what does closing of the embassy implies despite the closure of the embassy in delhi india and afghanistan are continuing engagement with each other in a curious way mon to ase mon ki hokane ase because we know that afghanistan can be a very friendly country with india's interest in the central asia aru amar bahut kini investment afghanistan ot already ase to hekini jodi ami bosabo lage tete hala afghanistan logot amar relations to bhal hobo lagibo so india has been maintaining a technical team in kabul where a staff provides visas to afghan traders and travelers to india and there are two weekly flights that carry afghan citizens and items to india our india aru humanitarian grounds of bahut kini assistance pothai ase kale afghan people afghan government alone pothai kintu to the people of afghanistan okay that apart some indian goods are also entering afghanistan through other countries like iran and uae so he to eta amar major concern ase okay our india's development program as you remember kon afghan india friendship dam jerans dalaram highway afghan parliament e black sob india e kora kaam hoy ta okay implication of taliban return to power in afghanistan national security concerns ahi jay because obviously there are terrorist organization okay tekhe rokole na jane humanity kotha to then trade relations beya hoyse threat of drug trafficking as afghanistan not maximum number of opm is produced 
আর তেখেত সকলে ওপিএম বেছি পেলে আজি ইকোনমিক ট্রানজেকশনস কৰি আছে সো এটো এটা আমার ডাঙৰ থ্রেট আহিছে এন্ড দেয়ারফোর ইটস আ গ্রেট থ্রেট টু দা গোল্ডেন ক্রেসেন্ট ওকে মুক কোয়া হোয়াট ইজ গোল্ডেন ক্রেসেন্ট এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ গোল্ডেন ট্রায়াঙ্গল মুক এক্সপ্লেইন কৰি কোয়া ইন দা কমেন্ট সেকশন ওকে সো হেতু কারণে আজি এটা এমবেসিটো বন্ধ হৈ আছে সো ইট মিন্স দ্যাট আফগানিস্তান ইন্ডিয়াস রিলেশন ইজ বেসিক্যালি ইন দা কোল বক্স এজ অফ নাও Until and unless a stable form of government directly comes in this particular country, which is said to be a legitimate government. Okay, so questions the answer to them are silo bar. Next, so MDR population sees a rise at Manas Tiger Reserve number jumps to 174. Very very important. It will be very important. Okay, so swam deer or zero percentage joy. Swam deer to Amita Namdi Zano Bara Singha Buli. Bara Singha. Okay, Bara Singha. So it will rise for it like what hole 174. ओके सो स्वेम डियर बुली कोले आमी की जानो आल्सो कॉल्ड एज बारा सिंघा इज अ डियर स्पेसिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट इट बिलोंग्स टू द फैमिली सर्विडे ओके फाउंड इन ओपन फॉरेस्ट एंड ग्रासलैंड्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड नेपाल पॉपुलेशन रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू आइसोलेटेड एंड स्कैटर्ड लोकेशंस इन नेपाल असम एंड नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया इट इज नाउ एक्सटिंक्ट इन बोथ बांग्लादेश एंड पाकिस्तान ओके सो देयर आर थ्री सब स्पेसिस ऑफ स्वेम डियर फाउंड इन द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट वेस्टर्न स्वेम डियर साउथर्न स्वेम डियर एंड ईस्टर्न स्वेम डियर basically found in kajiranga and dudhwa national park dudhwa national park kor ase mukamal section ko okay so etu swam deer majote bahut decline hoy goisile due to attributed to high floods okay uh, to tar karone bahut swam deer mori goisile aro e swam deer bla bahut vulnerable hoy okay so etia je etu lahe lahe bahise etu karone ami dekhisu je swam deer population has slowly increase and it's a good sign for us as conservation efforts of swam deer has literally bringing fruits okay so swam deer or iucn status ki vulnerable hoy aru appendix 1 ot ami etu protect koru under cites okay aru wildlife protection act 1972 under ot schedules 1 ot a species to ase okay swam deer to manas national park unesco world heritage site hoy kor ase ami all danu manas river kotha janu okay 1928 ot manas national park was given a game refuge 74 ot tiger reserve 85 ot world heritage site 89 ot biosphere reserve 1998 national park with an area of 500 square kilometer to so, talogor river manas flow kore in the northern side also it's a tributary of the river brahmaputra okay so yeta flora fauna ki dhoronor pai ami sob janu we all know about maximum number of the critically endangered species are also find here eta eta mo news asile recently pygmy hog okay so pygmy hog relocations okay so ye to relocate koribo kor from manas national park ओके आरो तो सब जगाते पथवा जाबो ओके सो पिग्मी हॉक बुली कोलो आमी जानु जे टुडे पिग्मी हॉक इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज ओके सो एज इफ आई से अबाउट द पिग्मी हॉक इट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी फ्यू मैमल्स दैट बिल्ड्स इट्स ओन होम नेस्ट कंप्लीट विथ अ रूफ एंड इट इज आल्सो एन इंडिकेटर स्पीशीज ए पिग्मी हॉक टू जोत थाके इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स द हेल्थ ऑफ इट्स प्राइमरी हैबिटेट द टॉल वेट ग्रासलैंड्स ऑफ द रीजन আৰু এই পিগমি হকটো জেনেৰেলি আমি ওয়েট গ্রাসলেন্ডত পোৱা যায় প্ৰটেকচন ষ্টেণ্ডাৰ্ড প্ৰটেকচন ষ্টেটাস ক্রিটিকালি এনডেঞ্জাৰ্ড সাইটছৰ মতে এপেণ্ডিক্স 1 অফ প্ৰটেক্ট কৰো আৰু ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ প্ৰটেকচন এক্ট 1972 মতেও আমি শিডিউল 1 অফ কৰা কৰো সো আজি থ্রেট কি পিগমি হকৰ গ্রাসলেন্ড ব্লক ধংখ হৈ গৈছে ইলিগাল হান্টিং হয় বিকজ অফ ইটস ফ্লেশ ওকে সো তাৰ কাৰণে ইভেন আমি পিগমি হক কনজারভেশ্বন প্ৰগ্ৰাম এটা ষ্টার্ট কৰিছো আণ্ডাৰ দা uh and the the assam forest department okay alongside the dural wildlife conservation trust of uk so ek gute bilakor logot ministry of environment uh, forest and climate change or logot okay aru tar logot amar duta man ecosystem india ngo join hoy ase rn nag boli so eneke ami ei gute pigmi hawk population to bosa bole ami chesta kori aso aru lahe lahe ami kichu man belak national park ba wildlife sanctuary to etu bostu introduce kori bole sai aso okay so this pygmy hawk conservation program or eta protect eta lakkhya ase 2025 loke this pygmy hawk conservation program e koise je 60 pygmy hawks ami release korim in manas by conserving their respective population okay so ekhini bostu ahi jay pygmy hawk and with respectively swam deer manas national park or kono one sailoba muk tumaloke kobo lage je amar ke kon national parks ase aru he national parks or area gita tumaloke muk likhi diba ओके, सो दिस इज़ द मॉडल क्वेश्चन, ओके, नेक्स्ट एमपी रियलाइजिंग पीएम्स विजन ऑफ़ क्लीनर विजन, ओके, सो इतिहा मध्य प्रदेश से रियलाइज़ कोडिया से कि पीएम्स क्लीनर फ्यूचर, 
So, Yate, Madhya Pradesh is making all out efforts to contribute immensely to India's goal of achieving 500 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2030. Our target, it has witnessed a solar energy 54%, wind energy 23% in the last 11 years. So, presently, 5,500 megawatt of green energy is being produced in Madhya Pradesh, which has resulted in a reduction of 10 million tons of carbon emissions, which is equivalent to 170 million trees. And therefore, Madhya Pradesh stands as a leading state in the country in renewable energy production. Important, both very important. Okay, so I'm usually a green energy got a possible as So it's a term that comes from renewable energy. It will be so big our India is the world's third largest economy energy consuming country. And therefore, it has been doubled 80% of the demand still being made by coal, oil and solid biomass. All right, I mean, it should be via the renewable source of energy. Okay, so as I'm here to target Louis, our target, I mean, a transition to Karna Burkini Ami uh, initiative solution. Supposedly, I can say about the Sobhagya scheme. Sobhagya to Kiasile, Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Hargar Yojna. Okay, that's what Green Energy Corridor Ami start Korisilu. International Solar Alliance with France Ami start Korisilu. Okay, then fame scheme or Kotamizano, faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid vehicles. That's what I mean, NSGM, National Smart Grid Mission, our Tarlogote, Smart Meter National Program. A good day launch initiatives like launch Kori, I mean, Kisa Sakori. So, as to bring the gap demand between the supply of this non renewable sources and how we can increase the supply of the renewable as well as the green energy that we are producing from some of the renewable sources of energy. Okay, so hey, black green energy, I mean, MPA, Burkini Kam Kori. Okay, it's a it's it is about as the MPs will be able to do, 24% of the state's installed capacity is basically coming in from green energy. Okay, our target is both different parks, Sajapur, Nimuch Solar Parks, and also 600 megawatt floating solar park at Omkareshwar Reservoir, the largest in the world. Okay, operational projects are also including 250 megawatt Mansur Solar Park and also the 750 megawatt Reva Solar Park. So, this is the case, this is the dream of the government and Prime Minister Narendra Modi's clean energy are to I mean 2050 le world like we say carbon neutral even I mean 27 2070 India aim 2070 look carbon neutral so it will like for a people I mean a come back away I mean really potential to reap for him in the coming times in association with cleaner energy okay so he can you have directly because I'm like a silo okay one question associated Next, National Wildlife Week. So, uh, we all know that the primary purpose of this Wildlife Week is to draw the attention to the extinction crisis and the importance of the wildlife. Our target, as he, the National Zoology World Project recently kick-started this 69th Wildlife Week. Our Ebaro theme to Hoiki Partnership for Wildlife Conservation. Our to Ketiaba Ketiaba October 2 to October 8. Okay, so yate amar ki dekhwa goise white wing wood duck. Okay, ami ki buli zano state bird hoy amar deuha buli zano endangered hoy ar schedule one hundred ase. Okay, Indian Eastern Himalayan region. Okay, dense tropical evergreen forest or poaze namedit poaze aru dihin patkai poaze. Okay, so already mo to malakok uh, bolle kolu about the national parks of Assam alongside with their respective uh, area that they covers. Okay, so it was important news hoy. Next. Some pretty 11 exercise. Okay, so it will call out 11 edition. Who is a core is a umbro in Meghalaya. It was a joint military exercise. Hoi. And this exercise is conducted alternatively by India and Bangladesh, highlighting the strong bilateral defense cooperation between the two countries. It will carry no kind of 14 day exercise hoi, that aims to enhance interoperability between the two armies, share tactical drills, and promote best practices. Okay, even recently, I mean, at India US or logot military exercise conduct policy. So, hey, military exercise to key hoy, nam to key hoy, out of details to key hoy, our put hoi si labor, he to muk to maloke comment section of zonwa. Okay, so this is our academic team and our CNA team. Thank you all for today.